Pedestrian deaths in Pinellas County are actually double the national average. That's according to Forward Pinellas, a group hoping to make it safer for you to walk and bike. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us the changes this group wants to make to one busy road. The speed limit here is 30 miles per hour, but it doesn't stop folks from going even faster. For pedestrians, it's certainly dangerous. Paul Cardone drives West Bay Drive every day to work. All I do is see accidents. And back home to Spring Hill. It just certainly feels like a wide open road. It's why he thinks narrowing these lanes between the Causeway and the Pinellas Trail is a good idea. Ford Pinellas, a group aiming to make the county safer for folks biking and walking, says making the roads tighter naturally forces drivers to go a little slower, obeying the speed limit. Narrowing the the throughway would make it easier to realize what's going on peripherally. The proposed plan, which is just in the talking phase right now, would be to cut the 12 foot outer lanes to 11 feet and the inner lanes to 10 feet and either add bike lanes or widen the sidewalk to fit bikes. The cost would be minimal because the project is being grouped into the county's resurfacing project. Bob Servetter is an avid cyclist. He wants the lanes to stay the same. When I drive on it, the lanes are already narrow enough. There's enough congestion. So it's a tough situation there, whether or not to put the bicycle lanes in or not. The group says because of pushback, the resurfacing project is being put on hold temporarily as they come up with a plan everyone can jump on board with. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.